Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. Apologies, we do have some audio uh, issues with our video today. It's one of those really small problems that's um, turned into a big one, but it should be sorted by tomorrow, we hope. So apologies if you do have uh, some issues hearing us clearly today. Anyway, let's get into the video. We've got cloud thickening up around the west coast and in the north, it's pretty warm. We've got um, not quite subtropical, but close to it with the airflow coming through with these east to northeast winds and drizzle patches and very high humidity. On the wind map, it's this area up here bringing that um, breezy easterly, which has been gale force around parts of eastern Waikato, right up against the Kaimai Ranges, like my hometown of Te Aroha. And then further south, northerly winds continue, but we've got cooler air on the way and a temperature drop is coming. So let's take a look at the rainfall. On the way, the west coast has the bulk of the rain. This is for the next 48 hours, and it shows rainfall totals going over 100, 120 millimeters for the mountains and ranges. The good news is down here in Southland, where there is some spillover, and even right here out to the eastern side, you're still getting up to around 20 to 30 millimeters, hopefully. And the further west you go, you probably will see those totals double. So the drought is getting uh, some rain falling on it now. Hopefully that will gradually start to see it uh, fading away. And up here in the north, still got some more downpours on the way, maybe another 20 to 40 millimetres around Bay of Plenty. And over in Australia, a whole lot of rain coming in for Cairns. This is for the next seven days, and the totals are getting up to that 400 millimetre mark. So a lot of tropical rain, but as you can see, it is just brushing the coastline. It might drift out to see a little bit and see those totals coming down, but there's a lot of rain on the way up there. So let's take a look at the forecast, and here we are for Thursday. So we've got this low pressure zone to the north. This is that subtropical area feeding down. So it's going to get more humid for some northern areas and pretty warm for the next 24 hours up here at the very top of the country. But at the other end of the country, in comes that southerly, the same southerly coming in for Tasmania, Melbourne and Sydney as well, and even right up into Queensland, uh, Brisbane at least. And we're seeing that heavy rain on the west coast, totals getting up to about 60 millimetres just coming in for Thursday, and about 20 to 30 millimetres across parts of Southland. By the time we get to Friday, here comes that cooler change sweeping up across the country. We do have this low that's come out of the subtropics, the warm weather, is out on the eastern side. These are the northerlies. On this side, southerlies coming up. So a bit of a temperature drop coming for the whole country, really, as we see that southerly change arrive on Friday. So this weekend, which is a, another long weekend in New Zealand with Anzac Day coming up, uh, we've got southerly winds around the North Island and we've got westerly winds building in the South Island. So northerlies, uh, sorry, southerlies for the north, westerlies for the south. Got it there. So over on the eastern side, that's where the rain is. Mostly dry around New Zealand. The blue you see on the scale right at the beginning. So mostly cloudy with a few showers. That is the forecast here on Saturday and drying out over in Australia because there's a really big high rolling in. And this is it on Sunday. Very powerful high pressure zone. That will continue the east to southeast winds along the eastern side. And in the New Zealand area, it keeps those southerlies coming in and more of a southerly twist again back in the South Island after the westerlies of Saturday. You'll see more southerlies coming through or southwesterlies. It does depend on where you are. And a bit more showery weather coming in for Southland, which I'm sure will be welcome. You can also see that rain that we were talking about that's likely to linger up there around tropical Queensland. And it really intensifies as we get into the start of next week on Monday. That's when you see that rain getting up to around about 100 millimetres just on Monday alone. Only in that one area around Cairns though. But in the New Zealand area we've got southerlies and a few showers. The blue you see there just one millimetre. So it is mostly dry but there could be a couple of showers just lingering around for uh, New Zealand's long weekend. That is all from me. Uh, as I say apologies for the audio if it was a bit uh, hard to hear today. We should have uh, the microphone sorted tomorrow and the problem that was a very small problem. Honestly it's don't ever snap a cord, a pin off inside something because you can't get it out. That is all from me. We'll see you tomorrow with our next update.